Hello everybody, welcome back to part 9 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We are on the verge of death, but uh, hopefully there are some pots uh, with hearts. Now there's a big Dodongo. Um, fiery Breath, so you gotta be careful about this guy. If you get uh, hit by him, you'll also lose your shield on top of, you know, taking damage from the fire. I'm pretty sure you can get him with a bomb. I don't know if that kills him in one hit. And I, I missed. Okay, never mind. So, you just gotta kind of do that. They do a little spin attack. But you gotta be careful about that. Okay, just two jump attacks. Wait, I wonder if I can... Okay, uh, will this, like, kill it in one hit? Because I know the crouch stab, like, saves, does the same amount of damage as the previous attack you did. So since we did a jump attack with a Deku Stick, that should be, like, quadruple damage, right? Uh, turn around, please. Yeah, okay, so that was a one-shot with the crouch stab. So that's, like, actually really interesting exploit about this game that I never brought up but I probably should have because it is something very useful um, you saw that I one-shotted the the dongo but like with a crouch stab but if I were to try that now you can see that it takes it'll uh, take more than one hit so yeah the way you want to maximize your damage with a crouch stab is to do a different attack and then uh, yeah Crouch Dab will save, uh, will do the same amount of damage as the last attack performed. Very interesting, but yeah, if you want to maximize uh, damage as Young Link, do a jump attack with the Deku Stick, and then just do Crouch Dabs after that. That will make you do a lot of damage very fast. So yeah, I'm assuming what we have to do in this room is, um light up the torches uh, I'm gonna kinda put that away and then hit this one and there we go there's nothing too complicated no like hidden ones from view it's just simply light these torches in a row and here we go we got a switch that will now unlock the door on the other side so nice we're done with that part of the dungeon now we just gotta go through the other side and uh, the platform is sinking and yeah I can't make that jump so we'll have to wait for this elevator to rise uh, which should happen momentarily okay I think I can make it now Ooh, barely I got nervous for a second oh wait there's a ladder we if we missed it wouldn't really have made a big deal um, first I'm gonna blow up this wall but then I'm gonna blow up that Beemos because I do want to see what's on the other side. Oh, there's a chest here. All right, well let's get this chest. I should have gotten this first. What the heck? You found the dungeon map. Well, we read the description for one of these already, so I don't need to repeat myself. Basically, we can look at any room in the dungeon, and if we press start and look at the subscreen, we can see. Uh, all the rooms a little bit more clearly. Oh, what the! Of all things to take damage from. I'll give up. Let me go. I'll sell you a Deku Shield. I don't need one. Okay. Alright, well, I guess uh, our other option now, our only option, is to go here now. Okay, well this is a really easy puzzle. It's literally pick up a bomb and then drop it here. That's not okay. Wow, look at all those bomb flowers. Is there any way you can set them all off at once? Well, there was, but I threw it that way. Oh, well, I guess that kind of worked too because we did kind of need to blow up that air or that. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's put our bomb there and that should work. Chain reaction bomb. Alright. And there we go. It falls just to the perfect amount or just the perfect amount of length so that it makes a perfect staircase to go up. Um, honestly, I'm kind of tempted just to go this way to see what's over here. Because I'm pretty sure it's just like... Okay, so it's just Armos. Well, these aren't so bad. All you gotta do is touch them and they get very angry. Looks like there's only one of them I gotta worry about. Uh... Whoa, 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 shield drop. I don't know why he picked up the bomb again. Uh, I think if I hit his shield or something. Okay, this is very bad. I really don't want to game over. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can... Can I blow him up? Without having to activate him? Whoa, okay, no, that just activates him. Okay. Oh boy, why am I getting so anxious? This is like a regular enemy. Oh, okay, we got him! I guess we just gotta run away from him a little bit. He'll blow up, and now we're free to leave. Uh, but it doesn't make me feel that good because literally one hit from just about anything will kill us, and I, I really don't want a game over. We got a compass. Alright, you know what would be like really awesome though? If we got some hearts. Gee, maybe instead of getting these stupid bugs, maybe I should have gotten. Uh, a red potion like that was on the one that was on sale in the Goron City that would have been a good idea right oh well I can go and regret my life choices later now I just kinda have to keep going through the dungeon hopefully hopefully it won't be cut short I think there's uh, Skulltillas here I, mean, I know there's a Skulltilla here but I know we can't reach it yet I don't even want something to pop out of this pot, like... What if something dangerous comes out? Ooh, a heart! I need it. Also, it's very nice that I get a heart because now the, uh, super annoying... Um, is not, like, going off. But yeah, also we got 40 rupees. That's actually a really sweet deal. So yeah, there's a Skultula here that we can very much get. Oh, I don't know why I fired another shot. But, uh, there's also a Skultula in that little opening there, and we can't get him yet. I think you need to be Adult Link to get it. And there's also another Gold Skultula that you need to be Adult Link to get in this dungeon. And it's very weird, because this is a Young Link dungeon, and you wouldn't think to go in here as Adult Link. So, let's go ahead and kill the Keese. Definitely don't want a Keese. To burn away our shield. Alright. Uh, which one of you is- oh, all of you are. Or at least I think all of you are. I know, I think there's at least- Okay, well at least one of you is nice. Oh, okay, bombs will instantly destroy these guys on contact. That would have been... Alchemist wasn't doing that? Okay, I guess it wasn't activated, so I guess that's why. Alright. So, let me grab this. Activate you. And then... Dang it, you didn't... Okay, let me... Let me try that again. Hey, we got him. Do we get something for doing that? Nothing. Wow, so I just wasted that time. I could have just left him alone. 
Yay, we can leave now. Alright. Um, we could also go... Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and just go this way. I know you keys are gonna burn up my Deku shield. Uh, whoa! Alright. Yay, Deku seeds. Okay. Ooh, I got him. I actually thought it would take a lot more hits to kill him. Or a lot more shots because, um, I'm not very good at aiming. But, but I did it, so... I'm happy about that. Also, isn't there like a, like a platform we can raise, or is that... Okay, yeah, that's on that side, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to traverse a little bit more of the dungeon before I can do that. Okay. I wonder how I'm gonna name these episodes, like... I still haven't even thought of the names, but I forgot about these spike traps. You never know we'll be around the corner of these narrow paths. Let me guess, I'll target you up to look to the proper direction. It's a useful technique, isn't it? Yeah, I would say so. Oh, okay, well, I just wasn't aware of that. I noticed that these blocks have, like, the Gerudo icon on them. Uh, I wonder why you can pull that out. Oh, is that why? Is it because, like, you need to pull it out all the way? Wait. Is there something cool in here, by the way? Yeah, cool heart. Yay. Okay, so... If we push the block here... This is enough, right? We should be able to jump to there. So we can get over here... But without bombs yet, we can't really do much. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Uh, was I supposed to do like some platforming and I just instantly failed without realizing it? Okay, well definitely not from this side. And I angle like a jump. Okay, that was not anywhere near where I needed to go. Looks like I can climb this without the need of uh, of the block. So what do I do with the block? Oh, looks like I was pushing it the wrong way. Okay, so if I push it this way, um, let's push it a little bit more. Or maybe we can just make it. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, now that makes sense. Alright. Uh, and then time it. Okay, I thought it was pretty ready to blow up, but I still mistimed it. 20 rupees, that's swell. Alright. So we'll wait even longer. Like now. Ooh, we were a bit closer. Now. Okay, well it worked. Not complaining. Just jump up and grab the ladder midair. That was pretty cool. Alright. So, this is simple. We just shoot it in the eye. And we have to be very quick about it because then that will respawn. And I don't think there's anything else in this room. Uh, there should be, yeah, baby dodongos. Let's see if they drop anything useful. No. What the? That's been attacked. Okay. I'm just gonna kill him, you know. I'm not gonna actually try to see if they have anything. Oh, cool! It's the mini boss part two. Oh. Alright, well, let's do our little trick. And, uh. Ooh, that was dumb. Wow, okay, he did, oh, he did so much damage that he got intimidated right off the bat. 
Uh, one of these guys is gonna come this way, right? There we go. Dead. Uh, are you gonna come this way? Come on. There you go. Yep, so we did like... So, okay, so a Deku Stick does times two. So times two of that would be times four. So yeah, I guess we just did like times four damage right there. So yeah, very useful. Uh, if we were daring, which I'm, well, I mean, it's not like hard, right? It'd be a huge amount of backtracking if we mess, uh, miss this jump, because we'll be back in the original room where the uh, other, the, uh, where the other mini boss was. But yeah, I mean, I guess there are two hearts that you can get over there. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the dungeon, though. Wait, wasn't this just where I came out of? What's over here, then? Oh, no, 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 that's right. This is where I came out of. It just had a very similar-looking puzzle. I don't know why that, like, confused me so much. Alright. Yeah, and the room is slightly different looking. So we do got to be quick. So we got to go here and then quickly shoot that eye. And then do that. And then they'll come up real soon. Alright, so now we're on the other side of this room. Uh, definitely don't want to miss this jump because that's a lot of backtracking if I do. This looks important. Is this the bomb bag? I hope so. Yeah, it is the bomb bag. Alright, you found a bomb bag. This bomb holding bag is made from a Dodongo's stomach. That's pretty gross. Now you found you found 20 bombs inside. You can set bombs to sea and blow stuff up. What a lucky guy. Uh, I guess if you consider blowing stuff up lucky, I mean, I guess that is pretty lucky. Blowing stuff up sounds actually kind of fun. Um, I am not a terrorist, though, so don't get the wrong idea. I'm not trying to miss throw these bombs. And I notice the bombs detonate way faster than those bomb flowers do, so... Um, I'll go ahead and see what these pots are up, though. So what did we unlock again? Or is that just like a... It's another door, okay. Well, first I want to see what's over here. Because I feel like, yeah, this switch will raise that. Okay, so now we don't have to backtrack so much. And hey, look, it's L is real 23... 20... Was it 2301 or something like that? Or 2401? I don't know. It's L is real black. Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way will be open. Alright. Trying to see how much more I could cram into this episode, but uh kinda running low. I could actually already open up the the dongo's eye, so we're pretty much um done. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what's through here. Uh business rooms. Shoulda guessed. What do you sell? I surrender Deku Nuts. No. That was the wrong button. Boink. Alright. Alright, you win. Deku Seeds. Nah. And that's it, right? Okay, so there's literally just nothing to do but dead business scrub deals. That's not very cool. Alright, I'll be uh, right back when I get to that um, other area. Alright, so I made it back here to the Ella's Real plaque. Um, so now all I have to do is uh, basically uh, drop a bomb into this eyeball. And then drop another one. So it's gonna glow red. I had to wait for that little cutscene to finish, otherwise I'd probably get disoriented. And then it should just open up now. I'm a mouth and a meanie. And there it is, a, a new door. So that's where the boss will be. Well, 
that's where the way to the boss will be. Um, the boss is uh, is there, but you have to solve a, like another block puzzle first. Anyway, I think this is like pretty much the last important chest. Okay, that was not an important chest. Are we missing anything? Nope, looks like we got every chest in the game. So, or not in the game, in the dungeon. Uh, should I try the safe way down? I am pretty low on hearts. Uh, whatever. Okay, this works. Yeah, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go through here and, uh, just like with the Deku Tree episode, I'm gonna have to end it off, uh, just before we do the boss. So, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! No! My shield is gone. I tried so hard to avoid that. But, well, I guess we could not avoid the inevitable. But yeah, so in the next episode, I'm gonna get another shield. I'll actually do this between episodes. I'll get another shield, and then I'll come back, and I'll probably get a red potion in between. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and kill the boss, and uh, then do whatever's next. But for now, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And until next time, I'll see you later.